Now, one of the most important things with making nice projects is being able to do repeatable cuts. Most people, probably like me, don't have a fancy Mitosaur setup with all these stops and built into cabinets and everything you need to do repeatable cut after repeatable cut. So you wind up trying your best to cut it and it doesn't always work out. But today I'm gonna to show you how you can build your own, not so fancy, but super functional miter stop system that will work on almost any miter saw and you can build it in under 60 seconds. Here's what you're gonna to need to do this project. You're gonna need a few wood screws. These are three quarter inch wood screws, but if your miter saw is slightly different and you need a different size screw, just adjust it for what you need. The second thing you're gonna need is some kind of clamp. And then the final thing you're gonna need is any board that you know is straight. An off cut from a piece of plywood like this one is great. Or I have this piece of pre-milled pine that I know is straight and level. Any of these will make fantastic fences. With the materials gathered, let's put this together in under 60 seconds. The first thing you need to do is create the auxiliary fence by putting the piece of lumber up against the fence and then screwing it into your previous fence. And most miter saws, I think, pretty much every miter saw out in the market has some kind of system where you can go ahead and you can screw an auxiliary fence into it. On my DeWalt saw, there's two holes on either side of these wings and I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this board straight into it using those wood screws. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and create a cut straight down the middle. I'm gonna use this for 90 degree cuts, but you can also use this for 45 degree cuts just by going to your 45 degree or your furthest outside angle and making cuts there as well. This is gonna make a cut right down the middle of this fence and it will give you the clearance you need for the blade. Once that's done, you need to make your stop. And that's where this clamp comes in. There's lots of fancier ways to do this. You can even build your own stop system if you want, but I'm just gonna show you how to use the clamp by itself. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the first piece of material to the length that we want and we're just going to apply this clamp right up against the back side of it. This will hold it in place and make a marker. Now we can go ahead and cut that first piece. And once we're done, we can just line up the next piece with the side of this clamp and we can go ahead and cut it again. And you have two perfect identical cut pieces. That's how easy it is. Now you two can make, um, Repeatable cuts just like a pro. So if you like this video and you want to see more like this, please subscribe below and make sure you give us a like as well because it really helps promote our videos and get us to the top of the YouTube charts. So until next time, good luck with your woodworking. If you have any questions, leave a comment and we'll see you again on our next video.